Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to make tons of money on your server in New World. And you want to take advantage of this as soon as possible. I was looking at some of these prices, and thanks to Sniffy Joe as well for pointing this out, he was talking about how he was flipping these for insane profit. So let's take a look at some of these that would make the most money on your server most likely. The first one's going to be the Opal, because everybody loves the Opal. It basically gives you that enhancement of damage when you don't have full stamina, right? And everybody doesn't have full stamina most of the time in PvP. So, let's take a look. The Cut Pristine Opal, the Rune Glass Case of Freezing, the Pure Solvent, and the Gold Ingot. That's all it takes to make one of these Rune Glasses of Frozen Opal. Of course, we're not going to go Frozen, though. We could go for the Leeching, or we could even go for the Empowered Opal. I like the Empowered the most. It's going to continue to make you the most money, most likely, on your server, just because of what it does. And we'll talk a little bit about that more here in just a second. So let's walk over to the trading post here in just a second. Let me screenshot this. So we do have this up here on the side monitor. I would suggest you guys would do that as well if you are looking to get these. It's just so you don't, you know, forget what you need to buy on the post. So now that I have that uh, MS Paint or just Paint loaded up on the side, I know that I need... need <clears throat> I know that I need a cut pristine opal, rune glass case of empowering, two pure solvent, and one gold ingot to create what we would call a rune glass case uh, or opal of empowering, basically. So let's take a look here. Gold ingot, what do those sell for? Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's very, very cheap to buy a gold ingot. It's two gold right now. I'm buying 21 of them because I plan on doing this quite a bit before this video comes out on my server because... Let's be real, there's a lot of money to be made, and this video is probably going to be out in, I don't know, one, two, three days, so hopefully you guys are able to take advantage of this on your server as quickly as possible. Rune Glass Case of Empowering is next in line. These you can create or craft yourself, and it's going to be cheaper most likely. However, in my case, I specifically cannot craft these, so... We don't have too many of these available for low prices. As you can see, the top one is going to be 4,500 gold. And the bottom right now for us is this 2,994, or sorry, yeah, 2,994 gold. We're actually going to buy a few of these. We'll buy probably three or four of these real quick. And once we get the fourth one, we'll be good with that. Okay, and look at the price, by the way. 3,000 gold per. Gold ingots are basically nothing. We're going to go with a total cost after this opal. Let's take a look at the uh, cut opals. Pristine, opals, let's take a look, if we can find, there we go, cut, pristine, opal, looks about 400 gold, so what what we're looking at here is about 3,500, I believe, after every piece of cost we can get, it's maybe 3,600 at most, uh, I think I bought four, right, so let's go with four, so now we should be able to go craft four of these, because remember, we have to get pure solvent as well, but everybody's got extra pure solvent most of the time, so I'm not going to really tell you to do that, but this is going to be 4k profit almost per crafted case of empowering uh, opals. So let's take a look here. We go to the stone cutting table. We scroll down a little bit. It should light up as white because we can actually craft it now. And we can cut four of these right now. So I have the resources as tier 5 crafting station and level 180 stone cutting are the only requirements. So you have to go to a tier 5 stone cutting table and then also stone cutting level 180 as well. Uh, there's a 0% chance to craft additional items, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, we'd be making way too much money if that was the case. So, let's take a look here. We get our four rune glasses of empowered opals, right? So, I, I do want to test this, by the way. We'll test this with another one as well. So, let me get a screenshot of maybe leeching or something and see if it'll work for that one as well. This is the one that I've mainly been focused on, but there's multiples that you can make a lot of money on. You just have to find out what people are buying and what people really like and take advantage of it that you have that stone cutting level and they don't. So, uh, let me see here. Opal. I can't find it now because... There we go. Opal Rune Glasses. We care about Opal because Opal, like I said, is very, very good for almost every build. So, this time around, we're going to go for, I think, Leeching. Because a lot of people love the idea of Leeching. You can see here, it's going to give you 3% of your damage as health. And I think people are going to be going for that. So... What do we need here? The only difference is actually the rune glass case of leeching. So we don't even have to screenshot this one. Fairly obvious. Rune glass case of leeching is the only difference. And this is, like I said, one of the best ways to make a lot of gold right now on your server. We'll show you guys how much that this sells for. These four rune glasses of empowered opals. If we go up to the store right now, hop over here, trade post, four opals. Let's go to, where is that? Probably at the bottom. Actually, I think we can go to resources. Go to owned, and then it should be at like four. Uh, I wish you could type it in, but you can't. So here we go. Rune glasses of empowered opals. So we have a couple at 7,000, which would be 4,000 basically total of profit. 
I think this is probably Sniffy Joe's right here, to be honest. He's been trying them more and more recently. So these are probably mostly his. As you can see, the prices are right around that 7,000 gold mark. I'm actually going to undercut him, and then I'll tell him about it, and we'll laugh about it later after I give him some gold. <laughs> I will have to give him some gold for this probably, as it is his method, and it's been working so well. But let's put four there at 6,900 and see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. We'll give you guys an update. Uh, but I want to go for the next one now. So let's go for a rune glass uh, case of empowering again. Actually, sorry, rune glass case of leeching is what we talked about here this time. Okay, these are insanely expensive. So what does it take to craft these? Because people are making a lot of money if people are buying these. So it is gift glyph stones, food glyph stones, ancient glob of ectoplasm, sulfur, charged sand. So this one would be a hard one to make a lot of money on just because the cases are so expensive. Uh, but let's take a look at the empowering again. So this one's just a lot cheaper, which is very interesting. If we actually take a look here, I do need to find somebody, I believe it's weaponsmithing that can do this for me. There's a lot of money to be made in rune glass stuff in general, by the way, right now. Like I said, if you go and make one of these rune glass cases of leeching, you can make tons of money with 17,000 being the low ball right now. Charge sand, let's see. 30 gold a piece. I mean, yeah, and that was one of the resources that I didn't know if would be too high or too expensive for us to, you know, jump into or dabble with. The gift glyph stones a little bit, the, you know, ancient glob of ectoplasms a little bit, but the fact that these rune glass cases of leeching are this cheap makes me think that this is also another way to make tons of money on your server. And I actually, you know, more the more I look at it, the more money that can be made. And I'm kind of uh, getting dollar signs in my eyes. So we are going to probably take advantage of this with uh, some of the max crafters in our company. We're definitely going to have to talk to them about this and start putting these on sale. If we take a look at some of the other rune glass cases, you may see people going for igniting or leeching, uh, or we talked about leeching already, but igniting, energizing, some of these other ones. Let's take a look at energizing. So energizing, again, 9,355 gold. You can craft these energizing cases, and they will sell. I've been seeing these sell nonstop recently. People have been buying these up, trying to create their own through the stone cutting table because they have the stone cutting level, but they don't have, like I said, the weapon smithing or whatever else it comes from. I fully, I, like I said, I think it's just straight up weapon case or weapon smithing, but I know for a fact I don't have the levels to do the actual rune glass cases. But if you do, a lot of money to be made there, like I said, as well. Because if you look at some of these glyph stones, they've gone down in value quite a bit. So this is still very expensive, right? The glyph stones. However, that's not that bad when you're going to be making so much like 9K or 17K, depending on the rune glass that you're getting. So this worked out great for us just because the empowering on our server is so cheap. But definitely take a look, like I said, through all of these rune glass cases on your server. And some of them are going to be much, much cheaper than others. So if we take a look at, let's say, rune glass case of punishing. What do we got here? 5,000, which basically increases melee damage to any pristine cut gem by engaging it in the rune glass. So these could actually make some money. So let's take a look at rune glass case of punishing. Rune glass case of punishing, right? And we want to, we're not doing case this time. We're actually doing a rune glass uh, of punishing. Let me see if we can find it here. Of There's so many options when it comes to these rune glasses. Punishing with the opal. Let's see. 11.5 is the cost there. So let's see if we can make some money on this one as well. Let's do a quick little test for you guys. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit more of expensive test. It's going to be kind of the same stuff that we need on the side. It's going to be the cut pristine opal rune glass case of punishing pure solvent and gold ingots. So we have the gold ingots already. We have we don't have the opals. Let me get the opals real quick. Uh, cut pristine opal. Let's see. Cut pristine opal. There we go. And let's just buy one. We're just going to do it with one to test and see if they actually sell. Okay. And then we have the rune glass case of punishing to buy. Case of punishing. Okay. And hopefully you guys like this format as well where we kind of do everything right here in front of you. Uh, but we're looking at about 6,000 gold in purchased uh, materials for this. So if it sells case of what is it called again punishing so we actually it's not a case it's going to be rune glass of punishing with the opal and this is going to sell for it looks like about 11.5 if we're able to sell it at the lowest price so did i just say i bought all of that for six thousand and we're gonna have a four thousand gold profit or more than that this time around again if we are able to sell it at the max you guys need to be taking advantage of these rune glasses there's so much money to be made so let's finish this off real quick make sure it's something that can actually sell and I'll let you guys know and update you guys if it does actually sell. But here we go. There's one right there. Rune glass of punishing. And it's an opal version of it. So if you guys don't know what this one does, it basically gives you 12% damage while your stamina is not full. 
and your melee attacks do additional 2% melee, or sorry, 2% damage, uh, which is crazy. A lot of people are going to be running this on all of their gear as well, because it gives a 1% boost if it's on your gear. So, let's take a look at the very bottom here where the rune glass is. There it is. All right, place that sell order. Let's do a nice three-day so we get some cheaper kind of transaction charges. 11.5 is the cheapest right now, so people are testing this one out at 11.5. We're going to undercut, like always, right? Do 11.4. Kind of a dick move, but we are going to do 11.49 so that it's not much of an undercut. We're doing a very, you know, we'll even go smaller than that. We'll do a small undercut because I feel kind of bad about the undercut, but at the same time, right, it's the market. you got to play the market. So here we are. This could be another easily, not even 4,000, it's like 5,000 gold, or 5,500. I mean, if you count all of the transactions, everything, it's probably more like 5,000. But 5,000 gold from just that much work. Very, very crazy if you can actually get these to sell. So we'll keep you updated on this, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys don't know, we do these kind of videos all the time on this channel. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. If you don't have notifications on, you're not going to be the first one to take advantage, and you may lose out on some gold when we do have these methods. If you guys don't know as well, we, tr uh, we stream actually on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy all of the time. So make sure on Monday, Saturday, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, you tune in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.